First Connor was born, and then I was born, and now we're adults and we're playing games. It's the Digi Bros. Welcome back to Digi Bros. Dalton, how do I get my sword to plus 20? There's only 15. Fuck! <laughs> well, what about the Titanite slab? It's plus 14 to 15. It's already used a slab? Yes. Apparently. My brain hurts, so I can use the slab on my armor or my shield. Guess. Ah! Uh, Stress. We're, we're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back shit. to Manus. Mono oh, yeah. e Manus. I remember the other thing I was going to. Oh, God. What's wrong with my. Air oh, bug. God. I got a air bubble. Oh, jeez. There's a burp coming, but there's too much liquid above the burp. You ever had that? Like, you feel the burp coming up, but there's liquid on top of the burp, so it has to wait for the liquid to go down before the burp can come up. Someone? Anyone? I'm trying to oh! art <laughs> articulate. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I can never not get hit by that fucking dude. Um, you could if you were a frame-perfect dodger. Like dodger. Except I'm dodging on a fucking log. It scares me. Um, anyway... So, Your ass is grass. I mentioned this to you a couple times, but uh, yesterday I also listened to a podcast with Obama. Barack Obama. Yeah, Barack Obama. Ballin'. With Mark Maron? Uh, yeah, with Mark Maron on the WTF podcast, which I've never listened to or heard of. It's great. But I'm guessing it's pretty popular. It's a Louis C.K. one. Yeah, I know he's friends with Louis C.K. They mentioned it in the Obama one. Obama's a Louis C.K. fan as well. Of course, because Obama don't give a fuck. So, um, they had this podcast, and it was great. Um, I won't talk too much about the details, because you can listen to it to yourself, and he talks about, like, the hilariousness of the situation of having, like, the whole neighborhood closed down and snipers on the roof, because <laughs> to, to have Obama in his garage for this interview. And the dude was, like, totally nervous and everything, because, you know, he's interviewing the fucking president. But, um, but it ends up being a really chill interview, and Obama, as always, just super real about everything. You know, he gives exactly the straight answer. It's never the political answer. It's just the fucking exactly how he feels, right? Which is what I love about Obama. Yeah. He doesn't talk like a fucking politician. He's not full of shit. <laughs> he talks he like just... some guy who's very tired. <laughs> yeah. And doing it. Well, but the thing is, he's a total optimist, up. right? Yeah. Because on this on this podcast, he talks about oh, how like you know shit. everyone likes to say that he he oh Obama never gets anything done and Congress never lets Obama get anything done. But he was like, I got plenty done. He was like, as far as I'm concerned, I won. You know, yeah. like, he was like, as long as I got something done, then that means we made progress, you know, and even a little bit of progress is better than no progress. So as far as he's concerned, he's happy with what he's done. He's, uh, you know, happy with where things are going, and he has a lot of faith in the American people, right? And he just has such, like, well-reasoned points because for him everything's logic, you know, and that's, that's where I come from as well. It's never like... Like, for instance, he doesn't have um, an aversion to, say, guns because of the fact that it's that he's a supposed Democrat. Yes. or the fact Because that's, that's how people act. People act like, um, you know, you're a Democrat, so therefore you hold these beliefs. Or you're a Republican, therefore you hold these beliefs. And they're not really based on reason so much as they are based on the fact that you've given yourself that title. Yes. You know? And Obama was like, the fact of the matter is just that no other country has gun violence like we do. Um, it's clearly a problem, but he was really, he was like, I completely understand why people want the guns, because it's a cultural thing. He was like, yes. you know, oh, probably... Oh, fuck, I forgot about this fucking attack! I wasn't even at the worst shit yet. He was like, you know, a lot of people grew up having lots of memories with their dad of going out hunting and having guns around, and that's how people grew up, and that's why they want guns. And it's like, yeah, exactly. And like, he's like, I get that. It's just that it's a problem, and we gotta, you know, hopefully we'll do something about it. But he was saying that he doesn't think anything will change until the American public themselves wants it. You know, he's like, yeah. it'll never change from Washington. It'll only change if people decide we want gun control, you know. Which, uh, maybe in 15 <laughs> years, maybe, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't see it happening Shit anytime soon. Shit on my soon. fucking cock! Fuck! Well... You didn't even I forgot what that was. It, it goes behind you and it shoots in. I forgot that's what it was gonna do. Anyway, <sighs> um, I'm getting there. <laughs> so I just really like Obama's overall attitude, and like, you know, I don't follow politics Pro very Obama. much because because it's so circular, and I think 
um, the government is the people, you know. Obama understands that. Not a lot of people understand that. But we are the government. Yeah. It's not Obama. He has no he has no real power. He has the power we give him, right? Congress is the power we give it. We elect the people. We decide what they do. It's up to us. If we don't like the way Congress is doing it, things, we're Holy the only shit. ones who Wait. can change that. Yeah. I can summon a friend to help me. Uh, if you want. Sh should I? If you want. I don't care. This is a sign this right there. This would be the time. Dun dun. Scrub. Don't just call me Don't a scrub. Says you're a scrub <laughs> if you do it. Wait, who is this? Is this a, a player or is it a NPC? Is that Arturius? Is that Arturius? <laughs> oh no, it's just some dude who's dressed like a tourist. Okay. Shimoku. He's got a claymore. Donsan says that you're a scrub if you summon somebody. Do you want to be a scrub? I mean, Are no. Are you okay so with being a scrub? I guess I'll go fight Manus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a bitch. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, shit, right. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember why I was talking about us being the government or whatever. But like, right, because I don't care about politics. I just think that... Uh, I think people are going to do what people are going to do, and public, our, our public ideas are changing not because of politics, they're changing because of social issues, right? Yes. Like, um, we, we don't have gay marriage spreading through the country because politicians wanted it. We have it because people decided they wanted it. Yes. You know, people reached a point where people thought gay people should get married, and therefore politics reflected what the people wanted, and that's what it's supposed to be. I, I'm, like, almost paraphrasing psychopaths right now, actually. <laughs> uh, this is what Akane said in, like, the last episode. But that's why I love Akane so much. What are you waving your arms around for? Or are you just putting your arm on your head? Okay. I saw, like, out of the... My I thought he was waving vision. his arms, too. I was like, what did I miss? <laughs> right. What the... Um, what am I doing here? Anyways. Uh, yeah. Like, the, the government's really the people. But anyways, um, the reason I bring that up is that... I like Obama as a person. Right off the bat, you know? he just immediately does this fucking spaz-ass bullshit Naruto attack, and he fucks me up. And, uh, to me, like, you know, whatever about whatever Obama's done or hasn't done, he's a cool guy, and he's someone who's yeah. worth looking up to, because he has the right ideas, you know? He's both, both in terms of, like, his overall, um, in terms of his overall, uh, approach... Um, and in terms of his, like, personal life, he's the kind of person I would want to be, you know? Yes. Someone who idealistically thinks logically and, as a person, is an optimist and, and, and tries to enjoy their life and, and, and the things that they have going on. Holy To take fuck. pride in themselves. I was, you know? like, just out of the and death range for that. He had the best quote ever on this show because he was, uh, he was talking about, like, how if he... Um, the, the, the guy was asking him something to the effect of, like, um, how do you, like, be on all the time, you know, when you're, in, like, when something bad happens and then you have to go on and speak in front of the people or, uh -huh. or go do all this presidential shit, like, how do you turn that on? And he was like, it's really a matter of not being afraid. He was like, you know, when you're when you're young or when you're new, you're afraid to be yourself or to be open or to, to go out there and do something because it seems intimidating. But he was like, as I've been president for the past six and a half years, all my fears have gone away. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. You know, it was like, it's it's not hard anymore for me to get up and talk to people because it's something I'm used to. And, and then he said, the exact quote was, I know what I'm doing and I'm fearless. And I was like, yeah, that's what I want to be. When I'm Obama's age, that's the kind of attitude I want to have. I know what I'm doing and I'm fearless. I want to have that I want to have that attitude right now. Uh, I want to be able to say like I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm not afraid to do it, you know. Yes. And I, I can't quite say that. I'm closer than most people, but uh you know, I can't pretend I really know what I'm doing or or that I'm not afraid that I'm going to fuck up something, but uh, uh that's where I want to be. Um so yeah, what a cool guy. And you know, you can say stuff like cuz Whenever you talk about Obama to Jesse Wood, he always brings up how he's a mass murderer of children. Because, what? you know, he's ordering all these drone strikes that yeah. are killing all these kids. And I agree. I mean, I'm not saying I think the guy is morally great. Um, I don't think anyone is. Yes. But I also... I also think there's there's a lot of more complex things going on with all that than, like, we could understand as right. not being part well, of it. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that anything... I'm not saying any of that is good or should happen. Yes. Um, I understand why it's happening 
and uh, and I don't think if I was in that position, I'd be able to necessarily do things differently, you know? Because there, when you're running this nation in this world, this particular world, you gotta kill some people. Like, yes. it's gonna happen. I w that's why I would never become president. I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to pull that switch, you know? I'm not saying I respect the fact that he does it. I'm just saying that I understand I why it happened. I didn't even this motherfucker. He just wrecked my no, shit. You got destroyed. That was embarrassing. I hate this boss. But, um... It's, it's not fun. There's nothing fun about it. You know, I think, uh... In some ways... <sighs> moral justice can be overrated. Mm. I mean... When was the last time there was a great character in fiction who was, like, morally just? You know? All the uh -huh. time. Like, for instance... Uh, Game of Thrones, you know? Name yes. one character that you like in that show who hasn't killed somebody in the name of protecting themselves or someone close to them. And, and you respect them for it when you see it on a show because you say, oh, well, he had to protect his people, you know? Yes. Um, well... Obama, maybe he had to protect his people. I mean, maybe he shouldn't have done it that way, but that's what happened. He had to do it. You're in too deep and political for me, man. I have no input on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going down a, a fucking rabbit hole right now, man. <laughs> Let's not talk about fucking child genocide and shit. <laughs> like, you're, you're going to... Take me out of the Digibros. Let's, <laughs> do you have something else to talk about? <laughs> Yeah, um, I want to talk about the fucking morality. So more. I took a really big shit earlier. <laughs> oh god! I took a shit. I bet you did. I took a shit so bad it split my asshole. Um, <laughs> you know those shits where there's like a little hard piece that cuts all the way down the side of your ass as uh, it's coming, like like your whole rectum uh, and anus is like bleeding by the time oh. this shit comes out. There's oh, no uh, fuck my fucking there's ass. No pathway here. Yeah, fuck this shit. Um, I didn't really take a big shit. I just wanted to take the intellectual level back to oh well good job you could have jumped you could have done a running jump i wasn't gonna make it oh, <laughs> could have tried i'm just gonna go to the other fucking bonfire what do you want to talk about victor child child killing is apparently too deep for i don't you. fucking know i don't have anything to talk about you have like been the, ranting about obama like, for the last do you like the song hour. child killers by uh, the delgado no it's depressing <laughs> Go listen to Child Killers by the Delgados if you want to. If you want to fucking be depressed. If you want to have a real downer. Why don't you go kill Guinevere? Well, I was going to upgrade some shit. Go kill, kill, kill Guinevere while you're here so we can make it dark and be all cool. Bear, bear, bear. You're like right next to her, aren't you? Go do it. Go kill uh, her. Go I kill her. I don't have any arrows. Shoot her. Can't you just slash her with your big ass sword? Uh... I don't think so. I think you have to shoot her with an arrow because she's all the way over there. Uh, oh. cast a spell or something. You can't have no arrows this whole way through the game, right? Unless I never picked up a bow. That can't be possible. Hey. There you go. You got a bunch of bows. I can't use it. There you go. Arrows. Shooter! Shooter! Pick up a shittier bow. Oh, wait. You did use it. Yeah, it's just... Shoot Oh! Dead. Yes. Fuck. And now it's gonna... Thou that tarnisheth the gold mothers, I am Gwendolyn. I suck the balls. I try Look at a cock! Look at a bear! Unpunished. Was... Thou shalt perish. I didn't even know that Gwendolyn had a voice. This is a Shakespeare voice. land. And he actually does sound androgynous. Yeah. That's cool. All right, now Bro. it's dark. Sweet. Everything's now we're cool. the, we are the true dark souls. Things yes. are dark. The Bear dark souls. souls. Dark souls had a story. No. Indeed. <laughs> I don't think we need to plug that video again. <laughs> Uh, we did talk about it, like, at length yes. a couple episodes ago. Well, you, you took me off my politics oh, now there's tangent, angry dudes and here. I didn't have another plan. Let's fight these dudes. This dude is in underwear. What? The, the dude's not wearing any, any yeah, pants. Yeah, it's just like this gay-ass leg thing. <laughs> I don't see no pants. Well, you fucking wrecked that guy. Yeah, I'm a little strong for this shit. Uh, except for this guy. No, he's Oh, you think you're so fucking cool? Do a little fucking pokey? Boogie no on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking. Uh, 
dipshit with the snow fucking pants. I'm the true dipshit here. That's true. Okay. You are dipshit. Uh, first victory. I, I kind of got in that like sometimes when you when you really rant at length, I get into this mood where I'm just like I'm just listening and like I have no more thoughts going through my head besides <laughs> listening to you talk. So now I'm in that like. I, it's called being uh, in a daze. <laughs> I'm in a daze. I'm very, I've become more focused on the game. You're dazed in daydreams. Yes. You used to dream, dream away. I don't remember the next lyric. Yeah. Trevor, help me out. I don't know. I would have said dazed and confused. Oh. True. I used to pray, but now I scream. Lord, oh. help me. No the more fuck? daydreams. What is this ember? No, no, I can't. I fucked up. Well, I feel an inanimate sensation. Did, was that all you had? Was Obama and I like, really? That was like those were my big your, ones. Your child wanting. Yeah, those are my my big. Uh, Disgusting. Big talking points. Yeah, yes. you're, it's just so weird to me that you have no <laughs> desire to have a kid. I mean, I guess someone as high strung as you shouldn't have a kid because you'd get stressed about everything. Yeah, it's, it's it just wouldn't work. You're one of those, I'm gonna break it guys, aren't you? What? Like, you see a baby and you're scared you're gonna break it? Like you're gonna drop it and it's gonna explode or I something? I guess. They do seem like ridiculously fragile. I'm right. just like, what do you, you have to hold the head because it's like really heavy? Like what if, like what if I, like it, 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 it could just snap his neck at any time. Like it's so easy. It just seems like, like it, it's gonna break his neck. He's one of those. Uh, he's a. He's a. I'll break it. They guy. freak me out, man. One of those videos. Um, but yeah, it's like way too much pressure. It's like I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna fuck that up somehow. Raising a good kid. It's just no. Yeah. If our parents could do it, <laughs> can't be yeah. that hard. They turned out three good kids. Yeah, pretty decent. My parents. Pretty were, choice. My parents who, who met, in their early twenties, dated for six weeks. Got married, had a kid less than a year later, or one a little over a year later after oh, their marriage. Skill. Um, and were broke for a lot of the time, and still managed to turn out three pretty good kids. Yeah. None of us do heroin. That yeah, that's true. Yeah, we don't do heroin. Or that's always one of the. No heroin or math. Very good. Fuck, I have my shield. I want to upgrade it more. Do I have to go to the other fucking dude? None God of damn us it. Steals? Fuck my fucking face. Even from 7 Eleven. Dragon scales. <laughs> That's true. I don't steal from 7 Eleven. I go there all the time. Yeah, you pay for 7 Eleven every are these day. These are redeeming qualities that yeah. we don't do heroin and we don't this, steal this from 7 Eleven. When, when dad says you guys are better than most kids, that's what he means. None of you does heroin or steals from 7 Eleven. That's it's pretty, true. Uh, pretty good. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely you a look out for 7 Eleven, man. It depends on who you're comparing yourself to, I can guess. Can I use this shield? I can use Artorias' shield. Do I want to use that shield? It's gonna be heavy as shit. What are we doing right now? Oh, I was upgrading my armor, but then I have to... Or my shield. But I have to get some shit. Your shield and... looks different now. Oh, that's a different shield. Oh. <laughs> I was just sticking around with that. I forgot I was doing something. We we're talking about kids. Yeah. And that they're stupid. <laughs> Next time on Digibros. Ah, ah. More of that. <laughs>